Hey guys, it's Joseph here and welcome to another video. This one's a little bit different again. If you've been following my channel a while, then you know that I haven't done a whole heap of unboxing videos or really strict tech reviews or anything like that because I don't want to pretend to be a tech reviewer or a gear reviewer. I'm just a guy who has started a video production business and along the way there's some gear that I enjoy using and want to play around with and tell you guys about too because it's benefited me, my business and my workflow as a creative, as a videographer and I believe that it can help you too. And so about two years ago now, I filmed a little vlog about how I picked up my first ever Pelican 1535 air case. And it's been one of the most valuable purchases that I've ever made. I still use it every single shoot, every single day that we go out with equipment. I've rearranged it in multiple ways over the last two years in order to fit all of our stuff. But apart from that and my camera backpack, I haven't invested a whole heap in terms of carrying our equipment around. And we've reached the point where we've had two Blackmagic cameras in the last year or so. And we've got multiple lenses to go with that system as well as the Sony system. And we've been sharing spaces. We've been doing all kinds of things between the bags. And it's been quite messy. In fact, let me show you really quickly what we've currently got happening. So here are two bits of equipment that I've actually been using recently. And so here is our Sigma 18 to 35, which actually lives in this case. But because of us running out of gear and bringing both Sony and Blackmagic camera systems onto shoots, we literally had nowhere to put some of our lenses. And so you would be horrified if you knew, if you really love your gear and you knew how I was transporting some of this gear in the last week, especially. I don't know if you can see this here, but we've literally had to stash some of our lenses into a plastic IKEA container and just padded it with some old packing paper that I found. And that there is really disturbing to think that we're carrying a couple hundred dollars worth of camera gear inside that. But I knew it was only temporary because we had a new solution coming up. And in this case here, this is not a Pelican case. It's one of those Bunnings knockoffs that I picked up a couple of years ago. And it's interesting because in this case here, I've managed to fit our current, one of our current Blackmagic setups in here. And I've been using this consistently for the past couple of months with the Blackmagic camera system. But the reality is this actually was never originally made for this system. I've just over the years have rejigged the arrangement and it's got that pick and pluck foam, which is permanently removed. And so you can see there, it's not really designed to fit here. We've got loose pieces of foam. In fact, when I first got this case in about 2017 or 18, it was holding all of my Olympus and Panasonic Micro Four Thirds gear. So all the cutouts were previously designed for individual small Micro Four Thirds cameras and lenses. And it fit my entire kit at one point, but then we've shuffled it around. I threw this, kind of put this to the side, but now, you know, I've had to revive it in order to fit the current setup of Blackmagic cameras that we have. So you can see it's definitely not perfect. We managed to fit everything in here, but it's also another case that we have to bring along. And that is why today I'm so excited because I finally decided to make the investment into a second Pelican case. And so I'm gonna unbox it and basically try to pack all of our gear for the Blackmagic system specifically into the case right now. So I've got a brand new Pelican 1535 Air case with the Trek Pack system this time. As you can see, I already had opened it, but I decided to film a video today and that's why I've just uh, committed to not resealing it. So let's unbox it and let's attempt to fill this with our current camera gear setup. All right, so as you can see, the case comes itself comes in a box that fits it perfectly. And let's have a look. Let me actually contrast the case itself very quickly with the one that I bought back in 2019. All right, so the truth is that really it doesn't visually appear that a lot has changed. In fact, they look virtually identical from the outside. There is a new latch system, as you can see in the original one that I bought in 2019. It simply opens up like that, no problems. And I actually, for about 
maybe 10 seconds, I struggled to open this one because I hadn't realized that they'd actually improved it and given it a button that you have to press in order to release the latch. So, in my opinion, that's great because now that offers a secondary level of protection because there have actually been times where we haven't, I haven't been confident in the security of this when we've opened it because the locks are so easy to open. Super briefly, let's just have a look at the interiors of these cases right now. So you can see that the dimensions are exactly the same and I've currently rigged this one out in its current arrangement to hold most of our audio gear, a little bit of lighting, just some of the smaller lighting gear, some of our power, our batteries and whatnot. And on this side, I've stashed the second Blackmagic camera. And so that's not ideal. I've been doing this for a couple of months, like I said. But what I'd love to do is to be able to make this existing case here a dedicated case for our audio gear and maybe some lighting, maybe some of the power accessories. But for this to be a fully functioning case dedicated to our Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4Ks, which we have two of at the moment, as well as the lenses that we have for them. So you can see here, the improvements that we're gonna have in our new case is that instead of having the kind of preformed foam inserts that they are interchangeable for a start, but they are also a little bigger and a little less room and maneuverability than this Trek Pack system that is part of the new case that we've just purchased. So with Pelican cases and these types of hard cases in general, but specifically for Pelican cases, there are three types of inserts. There is the traditional pick and pluck foam, which you saw in my older case there that really has limitations because as soon as you pluck the foam, it's gone. And so it's a permanent change to the layer. Now, this yellow insert case here is quite flexible. Like you saw before, there is a couple of different configurations. You can change these inserts with Velcro however you want, but there is some limitation as to the amount of gear you can put inside because they are quite thick inserts and they're not as flexible as the Trek Pack system, which is the one I've just purchased. And this one here will allow you through this series of hooks and connectors to actually properly change the arrangement of the inside exactly how you want it. And so that's what I'm intending to do today is to actually figure out how we can use this new track pack system. It's got clips, it's got a cutter inside to be able to fit our Blackmagic system perfectly and be its own dedicated hard case for it. So I'm gonna get into this. I'm probably gonna put this on a time lapse so that we save the actual amount of time it takes. I'm gonna put a video on and just have something in the background because this may take a little bit of time, but I'm keen to get this underway. So. Let's go for it. <laughs> so about one and a half hours later and a lot of rejigging, rethinking, definitely by no means is this actually gonna be the end setup, but at least we're, we've got somewhere. So at least I've managed to fit the majority of our Blackmagic gear not everything, but just for now into the setup. And this is where we're sitting at the moment. So we've got the two Pocket 4Ks lined up here. Some of our rigging gear here, which is the base plate setup, as well as some of the top handles, which are underneath there. And so the four primary lenses that we're using here at the moment for the Blackmagic setup are all sitting here. We put a little bit of space here for our v one V-mount battery at the moment and looking at getting a second and then the power cables and extra batteries and SSDs are currently here. And like I said, this isn't a final setup by any means, but at least we found a way to finally upgrade our setup from where it was into a brand new Pelican case. And I'm excited to see how it goes. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'm so excited to have finally been able to make another video that's kind of more gear orientated and hopefully there's more to come but if you did enjoy this please like and subscribe and comment below if you've got any questions about the case or anything related to it but thanks again for watching everyone hope you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you on the next video bye